What advice would you give to a young person today, a high school student, a college undergraduate that's thinking about career, maybe advice not about just career, but about how to live a life they can be proud of? You know, we talked earlier about intellectual honesty, and to me, that's the first step of just saying, to the best of your ability, who am I, and what I, what are, what's important to me, and what do I want to do and accomplish? If you can start with that and develop some sort of rules-based philosophical, here's what I'll, what I'll do, what I won't do, and that way... You can be flexible and pliable, and you're going to need to be, but if you if you still have a compass that tells you, hey, at least I know this is the path I'm going to take, I, I think that's very important. The rules you're referring to, the principles, that's kind of like uh, underlying integrity, so knowing what lines you don't cross on this path. That's exactly right, because if you have those absolutes, there are many decisions that come into focus very quickly right? Because, hey, I'm, that's not for me. Or, hey, I, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to, to do X, Y, and Z. And it has to do with the thing you were talking about. It's, it's kind of interesting. You, you mentioned this, uh, earlier in the, in the conversation about slippery slope, and that's how often it happens. Like how the, the, the slipping into unethical behavior happens. It's a slippery slope of little adjustments. You put stuff off. And that, that I found that to be... Uh, I've been fortunate to to not have to encounter these moments very much in my life, but I still encounter them. That's what integrity, I think, looks like. Is in the, as the the slippery slope is happening, those little things is um, without drama, without making a show of it, making a decision that stands behind your principles, and just walking away. Yeah, and besides the big ideas, I'm going to change the world. I'm going to innovate. I'm going to do all those other things. I also start, if I'm giving any advice, which, you know, we, we can debate whether or not, you know, I should be giving advice, <laughs> but just yeah. in terms of, well, let me start with this. Are you a good friend? Can you be counted on? Do you do what you say you're going to do? Yeah. Right. Are you accountable to what you sign up for? And do you hold others accountable? Right. What, what does all that look like? And then I think it's being as intellectually curious and well-read as you can be. We live in a world that is designed to distract you, right? And being able to sit with your thoughts or go on a walk and think deeply about something and not just surface area, you text me, I text you back, and we decide the fate of the world based on a couple of text messages or something. Um, you don't wanna to lose touch I think with being well-read and understanding and standing on great thinkers' shoulders and learning from, uh, from, from those works. And then I also think that, you know, there's, there's resiliency and then there's grit. And I, I heard someone say one time that those, those are slightly different. And, you know, I, I'm also, I know that there are all kinds of challenges in life right, that, that are tragic, that are unfair. There's no question that's the world we live in. But for me personally, to try as much as possible not to be in the victim mindset because unfair things are gonna happen. And, you know, we all wanna live in an idealistic, just world. That, that should be what we aspire to. I'm, I haven't seen that yet. I haven't experienced that yet, but yet you still have to function uh, in, in that world. So, you know, I, I think that that resiliency thing is very important. And then putting yourself out there, right? Because if you play scared and you're always afraid to fail, you know, this, this, is, <laughs> this is probably a dumb way to get to the end of the podcast, but there are times, especially when I'm out West, uh, I love the big sky out in, you know, Montana, Idaho, places like that. Yeah. And when you look up at night, it, it's almost like I've never seen anything like this before because yeah. there's no uh, light pollution, so yeah. to speak. And sometimes when I look up, the most daunting problems that I'm experiencing, I'm like, those, those things have been there. 
for a billion years or whatever, and I'll be gone and it doesn't, you know, the most famous person on earth 200 years ago, eh. <laughs> so, it, you know, it's pretty fleeting. Yeah. And uh, so make sure you, you have a good journey. And especially coming out of COVID, I think telling people that you care about, that you care about them and maintaining and cultivating your friendships and relationships, and they're not just transactional, right? And, and making sure that someday when you're laying there, you can say, yeah, I was a good family member. I was a good, uh, a good friend. I was someone that could be counted on. I think all those things go into the mix of, you know, however you want to take the journey.